Hi, I'm Andy from WireStorm, and I wanted to take a few minutes to demonstrate our new Companion Control app. Companion works alongside Network HD Touch to offer a more comprehensive control solution for Network HD installations. Companion is unique in that it's an app-based control system that doesn't require any additional control hardware or gateways. So let's dive in and I'll show you how it works. Here's a quick diagram which shows a typical setup for a system utilizing Network HD Touch and Companion together. Both apps are running on either an Android tablet or an iPad. These apps communicate to our Network HD controller, which then routes the commands automatically to encoders. In this example, there are emitters connected to each of the encoders, which are then placed on a source device. First, before we begin, it's important to note that I've fully configured a Network HD system before running the Companion app. Let's open up Companion and get to work. The first step is to simply connect Companion to the Network HD controller, and you can do this by typing in its IP address. Once it's connected, it will automatically display all online Network HD encoders. In this demo, we have two encoders online, which we've previously named N1 Apple TV and N2 Roku. I'll click the next button and I'm presented with a command assignment page. From here, you just simply select the type of command you wish to save to this encoder. Since this encoder has a Roku connected to it, I'm going to select Roku from the device list and then apply the commands to the encoder. I'll do the same thing for the second encoder, which has an Apple TV connected to it. Once this is done, I'll click Next, and that's all there is to it. You can see that the user interface has been built automatically for me based on the type of devices I've selected. We get live video previews of the source content next to the control buttons. When I select a device at the bottom, the UI will change so that it's relevant to this particular source. With this Apple TV, I can then navigate the menus and choose the content I want to watch. The next step is to link Network HD Touch so the two apps become a seamless solution. I'll start by opening up Network HD Touch and navigating to Advanced Settings. From here, I'll select the option that says Set External App. Enabling this option will create a new button on the home page of Network HD Touch that allows you to open Companion. I'll enter in the URL required by Companion, which is simply just companion colon forward slash forward slash. We'll also enter in a custom name for the button that will be created. Now let's navigate back to the home page of Network HD Touch. You can see at the bottom of the UI, there is a new button called Companion. To open the Companion app, simply tap the button. To navigate back to Network HD Touch, tap the text at the top left of the screen that says Network HD Touch with the back arrow. And that's all there is to it. Companion will easily scale based on the size of your Network HD installation, and you can even put sources into folders for better management or to restrict access for certain sources in certain zones. Companion also comes with a free demo mode, so you can download the app for free and experience what the Companion UI will look like. Thanks for watching the video. For more information on Companion, Network HD, or for any Wirestorm products, you can visit wirestorm.com.